Okay. Joe and Andrew. Joe and Andrew. Morning. In the morning. I knew you would screw it up. I knew it. <laughs> I knew. I knew. I, I wonder if we were going to do like, okay, after three or on three or. But anyway, this is a community episode. <laughs> we are going to be talking about community. I don't know how. You know what? It probably I don't I don't know how this started, but at some point we've probably been talking about community at some point in in in, <laughs> in, in previous years. Culture. Yeah, and and it just it just had to come. Maybe because um, there was just news that there's going to be a movie. Six seasons in a movie. Six seasons in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's a brief intro in case anybody doesn't know anything about community. Created by Rick and Morty's Dan Harmon, the perennially low-rated formula-obliterating comedy had a very simple setup. After being outed for never attending college, cynical ex-lawyer Jeff Winger, Joel McHale, enrolls at Greendale Community College to finally get a degree, but ends up being dragged into a study group of fellow misfits. There is Annie, played by Allison Brie. Um, clueless ex-jock Troy, Donald Glover. Passive-aggressive mother, Shirley. Yvette Nicole Brown, problematic millionaire and occasional antagonist Pierce, Chevy Chase, anarchist activist Britta, Gillian Jacobs, and Abed, Danny Pudi, a TV obsessive who is also aware he's on a TV show. That is a that is a very basic <laughs> introduction. But yeah, that's that's the most um, basic base. When you I mean, we were talking about this before that we, we could have done an, an, an easily an op, a top 30. A list of episodes some of these episodes if you just look at like imdb ratings are like some of the highest episode rated episodes ever you know easily over nine out of ten for for many episodes um it was just amazing and watching it back because i haven't watched it in, in a while um watching it again two things stood out to me um troy and abed were amazing together absolutely amazing their chemistry was was off the charts they they were amazing together and we could do an entire podcast that's just troy and Abed in the morning that was that and was like great. their their side their side ventures oh there's not even any cameras here who are you talking to and then, <laughs> i love i love that the they one were with, the one with betty white where they sing toto like oh I love that Broke they were my brain. There were fans in the back holding signs, just like <laughs> one of the signs was like, Abed is my alien baby daddy, or something like that. <laughs> um, yes, the, the, those like the, those are uh, an entire podcast on their own. I I just bought a Troy and Abed in the morning mug. I'm so I'm so excited with that. Just just the one with their where is that mug it. and how can I buy it? It's on Amazon. It's 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 a lot of places. NBC actually sells it. So <laughs> it is it I, is amazing. I, I, I had no I, idea. I don't drink coffee, but I kind of want that mug. There you go. There you go. Oh, I have <laughs> I have so many mugs in. All right. Um, well, so I combined your list and my list into we'll we'll go we'll go a through the ones list. yeah a super list we'll um we'll go through the ones that the the, the the honorable mentions that did not make the top 10 um now i don't know about this okay so this was um lawnmower maintenance uh postnatal care so that was that was the one i i, I didn't <laughs> see this one so it was what like like a it, it was about late um, um jesus wept <laughs> that one i don't i don't know about oh that was from season six okay that was from season six yeah um, um the fact that they made a lawnmower man reference like cracks me up and brings me back to the fact that uh dan Harmon, uh the creator of the show um also creator of rick and morty also made another lawnmower re man reference in the second episode of rick and morty called lawnmower dog <laughs> There is a reference to community in um, Rick and Morty. Oh it's, yeah! At some point, there's <laughs> there's just I, I I just saw I just saw a screenshot of the study group in some you know parallel universe or something. Yeah, like it, so was, it's one of the times that they're jumping through universes. Yeah. Uh, this one I literally just saw minutes ago. Cooperative calligraphy. This is the one with where uh, who stole Annie's pen? Who stole Annie's pen? And they flip the tables. And they flip the tables. They get naked. They um, yeah. 
Uh, yeah. Everyone jiggle enough to enough to dislodge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Shirley has a uh, pregnancy test, but but it's marketed just for black women or something like that. It's like, oh, it's really? like, yeah, yeah. It's like, yo, there it is, or something like that. Um, this one, I don't think you have this on your list. Um, this this was uh, uh, kind of on mine. Um, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, the first one. This is the one that you can't find anymore because uh, yeah, Kang you have to Black find Black that one on YouTube. You yeah, it's, it was it was very hard yeah. to find. Um, Honestly, uh, had that one been more in my like frequent viewing, I probably would have put it in my top ten. Uh, but you suggesting it and me like hunting going down the rabbit hole and finding it um it's a good it's a really really good episode it's really well made the thing is i'm not really into dungeons and dragons so it's like okay cool but you know it didn't really mean that much to me i um, find it fun as as a lord of the rings parody yeah yeah, yeah. um but it so. just it just reinforces to me how much i hate chevy chase i hated his character on community and You're i don't know if supposed to hate his character but I, yes i see if you it, chevy chase is not a likable human being yeah i mean he's not supposed to be but it's just it, i can't get past the fact that in real life he is such a jerk and that it just did not go well <laughs> with very oh, public fight. It went, with, it with went horribly. Army. If you, if you've seen the interviews, and we'll we'll zip past that. Um, he was not happy being there either. Like, and he did and said some things that we, we will not discuss. Apparently, he podcast. treated apparently he treated Donald Glover like crap, and that really sucks. But oh, it, it just, and he said but, he said some things that were very yeah, controversial. and and just like not just in this show but in general all i've heard was people hate the guy and that clouds my judgment but yeah this this advanced dungeons and dragons thing where uh where pierce becomes the 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 enemy and, and becomes really powerful and all that i stuff. mean he was always the enemy wasn't he basically yeah i mean it was basically yeah i mean it just he wasn't all that funny it just i he mean i know his, he wasn't all right there were certain moments where pierce came off funny I will give him I will give him the credit that he is due. There but there's that yeah. character I hated that character. And yeah. I dislike Chevy Chase in real life. Yeah, so. I was I was glad that when he was when he was gone. Um um physical education. I didn't end up seeing this one. What was this about? Oh, that was the pool episode. I you like pool in shorts. I didn't okay, I didn't know. Okay, I'm that that one. Oh, I need, you I need didn't to watch see that episode? All right. That episode is really great because it was um it was about it, 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 a it was about Jeff like kind of coming to terms with his like physicality and it was also Dean Pelton like he snaps like photos of uh Jeff without shorts because that's how it ends um and it was also Abed being like I don't need a girlfriend girls come up to me all the time and like it was it was like establishing Abed as like yeah I don't I like I don't need a woman it's fine Dean um Dean Pelton is amazing in this show uh, oh I love him he doesn't he just nails it he just he was just such a good character it's so funny same with same with Chang Chang also anytime Chang, Chang was Chang, in it Chang. he usually he usually uh knocked it out of the park so he was awesome yeah. um basic intergluteal pneumiastics the, the the ask crack bandit returns episode uh so this was a spoof on on the uh on those serial killer movies yeah it was a spoof on like seven and zodiac and like hence it's raining all the time everybody has their yeah hoods up. yeah i like that uh that Abed <laughs> gives uh troy a, a blanket it's like, why are you giving him a blanket? It's like, I don't know. That's what they do. <laughs> That's what they do in movies. And you just keep saying you blankets. And he was yeah. in a wheelchair for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that, like that, that one. Your like, butt. Why are you in a wheelchair? <laughs> that one cracks me up every single time I watch it because I'm just like, this is the most ridiculous crap, but this happens every single time they do this. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm just so funny. Um, intro to felt surrogacy, the puppet, the, the puppet musical. I I didn't see that one either. Um, ah, 
Yeah, they just they they sing their feelings and they eat psychotropic berries from like a weird guy in the woods. It's <laughs> if you haven't watched it, it's a really solid episode. <laughs> okay. So so number eleven on our list was contemporary American poultry from season one. This yes. is the Goodfellas episode. The- yes. <laughs> <laughs> so good they nailed it so well all the they goodfellas just, references yeah. what did what did what did all that say at the beginning it's like oh my life i always wanted to be in a mafia parody or something like that <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're right he did <laughs> he, he, they just nailed the whole you know all about chicken fingers and everybody had their job and um, and and they, they 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 kick it in the butt at the end with a sixteen candles reference. What happened at the end? I forget. Where Jeff and Abed are sitting at the like counter eating chicken fingers. Oh, that's, that's right. A 16 candles reference. Oh, how cute! How cute! Uh, okay, so number ten on our list. This was. I don't think this made your list. Um, this is um geothermal escapism. This is um the oh the, the lava the, episode. The, the, yeah, the floor is lava episode. This is yeah. Troy's final episode. Yeah, um, I yeah. like that episode a lot. Uh, I mean, it didn't make my top ten because pff, there's so many good ones. Some odd episodes to make yeah, it to. Yeah. yeah, um, so so good. It basically making fun of all those uh, post-apocalyptic uh, uh It was definitely the- a Mad Max reference. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> just so yeah. good. Just so good. The, stand- the, the fact that they have like a stance at, at that one point. It, it, oh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the community is at, be- is at its best when it takes a silly reference and, and silly just pre- uh, premise and just runs with it. And they just took yeah, the and, whole... And that is just like, this is how ridiculous this is. Yeah. 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 And then at the end, it, this is basically all about how Abed was coping with, with Troy leaving. And yeah. he dies at the end, just like in... Uh, what was that reference? I think it was Aliens. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, the- Oh, the the falling thing. I yeah. think it, there's a, there's a lava movie that that's referencing. But okay, it, it, it's he, not he dies. He dies, and but but it's like oh, there's well, too many references in here. Right, and then he he comes <laughs> back as a clone, and yeah. uh yeah, it was it was cute. All right, number nine, which was number. Oh, uh, let's see. Did this not make your your list? That would be really surprising. Um, consp- oh yeah, it didn't. Um, conspiracy theories and interior design. This was the uh, <laughs> I know from uh, from season two. Yeah, this is the one where it's uh, the guys. Uh, Jeff was making up a class. Yeah, the yeah the yeah the and uh, class. Is the guy's name was Professor Professor Sen or something. Like <laughs> Professor Professor Sen. <laughs> and um, that's a great that that is a fantastic episode. It's like, it's really cute. Especially, it, it, go ahead. Uh, uh, it, it, it's just really cute that yeah they all just scheme they all secretly scheme together uh, but and there was the, the gun the gun ending the fake gun ending is like oh and he's got a gun ah! yeah yeah <laughs> and, oh it's so over the top and um, so ridiculous in, in and the, i love in, it in the beginning of the episode um so so jeff says oh yeah dean says oh you're just making up this 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 class and and Jeff's like, no, I'm not. And it's like, I, I, I was right. I, I, it was, it was here and it was like in a closet or something like that. And then some random dude comes and says, I'm the professor. I'm the professor. And this is, I was, I've been teaching him or whatever. And, yeah. and, and he says to Jeff's like, who is that guy? And Jeff has I've the never biggest, seen that guy before in my life. Exactly. He has the, he has the biggest smile on his face. Like, okay, it's about to get real. I don't know what's going on here, but we're going to, yeah. we're just going to run with it. I, I love that. I love that. Yeah. So, that, that, that is some really fun stuff. That again was one of the ones that was on like the barrier of making yeah. my list. Um, this one made number five on your list. This is epidemiology. This is the taco meat equals zombies episode from season two. The D got taco meat from the army. So, <laughs> so funny. 
um yeah it totally became a zombie episode because they got weird taco meats <laughs> i want to know so so okay they get the, they, they get the weird taco meat he calls the army surplus store and they're like what are you talking about and on the box it says something about call this number and and the dude they like echo oh, tango they whatever like, they almost call it an airstrike that's the thing they're like then the army comes exactly six hours later uh -huh. And they, I think they're about to kill everyone, <laughs> but then they see that there's like a whole bunch of infected people. They're like, oh, I, okay, we'll go with plan B. Like, I guess plan A was just shoot everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was. No, so I love this episode for two reasons. One, it's hilarious in and of itself, but they that's also the reason for they go forward and say gas leak year. That's the reason for the gas leak year. Oh, is because nobody remembers. Uh, also, Shirley and Chang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At the end, Chang leaves a message for Troy. Yeah. And all Troy is saying is like, why me? Why did you call <laughs> me? <laughs> why did he call me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was that was that amazing. episode is hilarious. Number also, alien references. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because um, Troy was um, Troy and Abed were like like the alien and the and the thing in the uh, the yellow the contraption big, thing. Yeah, like Jacker thing. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, number seven from season two: Basic Rocket Science, the space at the KFC Space Simulator episode. My and what? And the birth of the flag. Oh, the flag. <laughs> so, so the I, I, first of all, the beginning when they did a perfect spoof of Apollo 13. Oh, yeah. When they're, when they're all going in, in slow motion. This is one of the few times Pierce was funny because they're all going in slow motion and someone says, how long, how much, how much longer do we have to go in slow motion? And, uh, and the Dean says like, Hey, you were an hour late. It's like, yeah, we were going in slow motion. And Pierce says, we were going in slow were motion. In slow motion. <laughs> yeah. Um, that, that was, but, yeah. Cause I, I would go, yeah, it, it was a uh, uh, slow, slow mo walk. And Jeff says, how many was like how much longer do we have to walk in slow motion? It's like you guys are walking in slow motion. Yeah. <laughs> and then Abe goes like five five or six more steps. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the first scene when it was basically a perfect spoof of I believe Apollo 13, where they're like, the Russians have a have, have a, have a yeah. Sputnik. And, yeah. <laughs> and they come in and that was perfect. Per it was almost like scene for scene, like like when they when you put oh, the yeah. scenes together, it was it was perfectly. The, the part at the end where Abed like smokes a cigar for no reason, like I was just dying. I was like, yep, that yep, you did it. <laughs> it was it was the perfect <laughs> thing where Abed was he was supposed to be in that, but he did he, he, oh 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 so. Okay, so they get stuck in the thing and the thing starts moving, but Abed's not there because he's he says, I got to go back because I'm not properly dressed for this space spoof. So he yeah. goes back to his, his dorm. He comes back and the thing is gone. And he looks, he looks to the left. He, he looks all around and then he looks up. <laughs> <laughs> Did it fly that's, away? That's a great Abed moment, though. <laughs> that was amazing. And then there was a scene. So poor Abed has a head who knows the entire thing because his dad wouldn't let him um <laughs> wouldn't let wouldn't him let on him, it. Like, yeah. You know, go go to the, the, the KFC simulator. Uh, but he <laughs> knows the entire thing by heart. So he's walking them through that. And, and just like just like in Apollo 13. And, but and then Chang comes and says, Sir, I figured out a way that they can reroute the, the power to the auxiliary battery. And How? Abed says, Reroute the what? And it <laughs> Just, he just, just like he just, just like just awkwardly walks away. <laughs> just so that is that is also another like classic Chang moment. I'm like ah, yeah. Um, yeah. and then and then at the end, they bring the 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 space simulator home, and Annie's driving it, and they come out just like they landed on the moon, and they're hugging people. <laughs> There's a crowd there, and just and Troy's just some random woman comes up to Troy and gives him a big hug and a kiss. 
<laughs> yeah, Perfect. that 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 episode like stands on its own. Like that that episode is hilarious, Amazing. regardless of who you who watches it. Amazing. Um, this was number this is number six. Um, number four on your list: regional holiday music, the Glee episode. Ah! Um, yeah, it was. We got to regionals. Still, we we got to yeah, go to regionals. We got to talk about regionals. I, I I sing those songs every Christmas. Very um, very well done songs. Yeah, they're um, very well done songs. And honestly, like when Glee was a thing, I hated it. Oh, yeah. I hated Glee. And so to see a show that was all around the same time and just mock it perfectly i cracked up i laughed my my butt off i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna um, stay from person. Uh, um but that it, it, show, that that episode is just like uh it lives in my brain yeah um it was also basically invasion of the body snatchers Yes. Because one by one, they were like converted into. There's literally a scene, the scene where um, Jeff turns to Britta and goes, ah, that's literally that's, a scene out of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. And um, the 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 scene with Jeff and Annie, where Annie sings that, like basically a spoof of like Santa Baby and all those kinds of do, 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 Christmassy do, do, songs. Like, hi. Hey, I'm so dumb and you're so smart. But Allison Brie is easy on the eyes. Let me just say that. And her in this tiny little no Santa argument outfit, here. Yeah. <laughs> tiny little Santa outfit trying to be as sexy as possible. Holy cow. Um, yeah. I was not arguing with that scene at all. So the, the funny <laughs> thing about Troy and Abed doing a rap and all that stuff is what Donald Glover is and became and why he left is because he became, you know, childish Gambino and, and, and a big, you know, well, yeah, and he started star. Atlanta too. And yeah. Yeah. So it's, yeah. Um, who was, who's the most, was, was he be considered the most successful one out of the, out of the cast? I mean, him, Allison Bree did glow afterwards. Um, Joel, or Ken Jong, honestly, would probably be the Ken most. Jong, he did the other the Hangover movies. Well, no, and he's a host on The Mass Singer. The Mass Singer, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, if you're if you're saying like, um, yeah, like I mean, hosts. Gillian Gillian Jenkins really hasn't done much. Um, no, Annie Pudi doesn't. Yvette hasn't has not done anything. Yeah, I yeah, know she, hasn't, she hasn't. Joel McHale's done stuff. Who? Joel McHale. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, he was, uh, did you see that show, The Bear? No. Okay. So it's, it's it's a show that just came out recently. It's basically about this chef who was like a chef at like a really high, high ranked restaurant. And he kind of goes crazy and, and he takes over this like sandwich shop or something like that. But there is a scene where this guy, when, when he's, when he's still a high ranking chef, where this this um this chef is just yelling at him and, and berating him and verbally abusing him. That was Joel McHale, and I, I was totally shocked that like he just had one scene and it, it was it was really over. Anyway, no, um, I have not seen that. Okay, so number five, um, we're, we we combine these. This is the fistful of paintballs and a few paintballs more episode. Basically, the, ah, the yes. paintball episodes, which was Wild West and Star Wars. Yes. Well, I mean, Star Wars is kind of Wild West, if you think about it. It like, really is. <laughs> um, yeah, at one point, um, Abed says, we've gone into a, from a Wild West motif to a Star Wars motif. Frankly, I wish oh, we would have yeah. done this and, sooner. And or something I, like I'm that. pretty sure that's when he takes his jacket off or something. Yeah. Yeah, he, he became Han Solo. And he was like putting the moves on Annie, which who I guess was, was no Princess Donald Glover Leia. became Han Solo. No, I'm talking about in this in this episode. Oh, oh in this okay. episode, um, Abed pretended to be Han oh, Solo. Oh, oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, yeah. you're right. I, he, I'm forgetting, was, I'm forgetting he, that part. He was acting Sorry. totally, you know, cocky and just like Han Solo, and really like, like coming. Yeah, on him and Annie to, almost kiss, and he's yeah. like, 
when the paint rains, it'll be down. Yeah. And then um, and then and then and then when it's all over, and he's like, Hey, what's going on? And 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 Abed went back to being Abed. <laughs> it's like he's like, Well, sorry, I'm just doing this for this episode. So, yeah. Um I, I super love those episodes, A for like just the motifs that they like kind of spoof, uh, the westerns, the uh Star Wars stuff. And again, I will I, I will do my little bit. Um, it gave the Russos their job essentially at Marvel, and I'm super happy about that. So, uh, yeah, the, Ru- the I, Russos I, were were directors for I believe the first three seasons of. Uh, of they Community. were producers for the first three seasons. Yeah. Um, they directed a handful of episodes here and there, but specifically Joe directed both of these episodes. And they they produced all of them. And so this is what showed Marvel that they can direct action and comedy. And that's what got them Captain America and the Winter Soldier. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Um, Den of the- Geek has a great article about that if anybody wants to uh, jump in on that. Interesting. But- Interesting. Um, this... Uh- the beginning of the, the 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 Star Wars episode has uh, one of my favorite scenes of all time. They're all gathered, and this is when Abed says, "Oh, we went from a Wild West theme to a, to a Star Wars theme." First theme, and yeah. and they're all <laughs> the gathered together like the Rebel Alliance. Like we all have to join together to defeat yeah. the, to defeat the the the, uh, the, the Empire, and the, the City College brings in a a bomb. Like a like a bomb on a on a on a little uh, little robot thing, a little little um, what are those things? Remote controlled car thing, and it's it's full of paint. So if it goes off, it's going to destroy everyone. And magnitude jumps on it. Ha ha! Yeah. But, well, no wait. He says he jumps on it, yeah. and it's like he's dying. And um, Troy runs over to see if he's okay, and and and, and Magnus says, "Pop!" Oh, and ah! he dies. And yeah. Troy saying, "What was he gonna say? <laughs> what was, he, what was the other, other word? word? What's the other word? That's all Magnitude did. The entire thing is pop, pop. I, that was that was maybe the the." Besides Troy Dobbin yeah, in the that morning, episode that episode is a great. Is like in the like pantheon of like really good TV episodes. All the all all magnitude did, all he says, pop pop, and pop. everybody went everybody went crazy. Like ah, I think he almost became like student president or something like that by just saying pop. pop oh yeah, <laughs> it's him and Leonard at the end of that episode, and it's like <laughs> pop pop. <laughs> Pop, pop. <laughs> that's another good um another two good uh, side characters leonard and starburns oh that uh, that's why that i i i have the one in, in here that's about the death of starburns and ah starburns was like a great character i did not know this until a few minutes ago he was a writer on the show what starburns was a writer on the community Dang, I did not do my research hard enough, but <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, I, I just, I, that, that blew my mind. Like, Starburns, really? <laughs> um, I was just going to say. <laughs> um, number four, digital estate planning. This is where, uh, this is the, the, basically the video game episode. Yes. Uh, uh, Pierce's dad dies, and they just, they have to figure out who if he gave who gets the inheritance or whatever. So much they they did the whole video game thing so well that had to take so forever. Perfect. They had that had to take forever. Um, and and it's, of course, of course, who is who is the other guy, Giancarlo Esposito, who is like, where did you where did you snag him from? Like, like, how is he in this show? The bad guy like, in every single series that's ever been created. But how is he in this show? That's the thing. Oh, yeah. it kills me. Yeah. Uh, but yes, this, like, it did everything about video games, like, perfectly. 
and I was I was so enjoying the episode. And then the part where Abed's like, uh, I was like, she can make babies for me. It was like, and Troy's like, oh, and I can't, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, there's some of the there's some of the lines that are just absolutely perfect in that it's, episode. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, uh, number three, remedial chaos theory. This was oh, the alternate timeline episode. Oh my goodness. My oh. goodness, this was so well done. And it's such a simple, silly premise that yeah. the, the pizza man comes and they're all sitting there and just, and it's like, who's going to go get the pizza? And Jeff rolls a dice. And, and, and then it's a different scenario every time. Every time. And like, sometimes the house is on fire. And like, sometimes like, there's other stuff going on. Like, oh my God, I love this episode so much. It's so and well it sets done. up the dark timeline. This is the darkest timeline. There was actually, <laughs> yeah, that was uh Troy and Abed in the morning um with with uh, go, with goatees. <laughs> yes. Pasted on goatees. Every time, every time there's a dark timeline, you gotta have the everybody has to have the goatee. Yeah, everybody has to have a goatee. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Just so good. Yeah. I mean that's 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 one of the memes that endures is Troy coming back to the house. Oh, on walking fire. back in with the pizza. Right, and, like, he Yes. Uh, yeah. That's a great. That's a great episode. It's funny that the only like the best timeline was when Jeff wasn't there. Um, everything was everything was fine when Jeff when when Jeff went to. Get- I like when they go back into like oh this is the darkest timeline like like they do the storylines for like the darkest timeline yeah. <laughs> like there's that one in court where like Jeff doesn't have an arm and he's yeah like, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, when Britta goes to pick up the pizza she falls in love with the pizza guy pizza guy with and, the, uh, and, with and, the, and wants with to marry him link, with the funny joke funny team. note that was actually her boyfriend in real life yeah. really yeah <laughs> all right again i did not read deep deep enough into my notes <laughs> uh number two basic lupon urology basically the law and order episode with the that episode is amazing and i will watch it again and again all the time i that episode can't... that go ahead go no go ahead that episode is just on point when it does all of the law and order stuff and it just uh and they i'm a person it. that hates law and order i like i do not enjoy that show at I... all I me neither. I, I've only seen like you know like two or three episodes in my whole life. I've but seen still. enough to understand the tropes, right? But, right. But I like I do not enjoy that show, and that show just mocks the ever loving whatever it out it. of it. it. Nails it so well. It's so perfect, especially the part where Abed and Troy are just like, "All right, we need to switch roles." <laughs> like they they know who they're playing. They were so good in that episode because, yeah, it's like, hmm. like, oh, but I want to be good cop. <laughs> I was like, hey, man, hey, man, my partner's okay. been my partner's been upset since we switched roles. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I like, like the part where like Shirley is behind the fish tank and they're talking to Starbird, and Starbird is like, wait a minute, you're not cops, <laughs> right? <laughs> and so, they walk, they walk, um, who do they walk away from? Uh, they walk the fuzzy-haired army guy away from the knitting table. And they're like, we cannot do anything to you. You have the right to say whatever you want. And we cannot do anything. Please and thank you. Right. <laughs> Making fun of the Miranda rights. Yeah, that was, exactly. that was perfect. So. Uh, that episode is just, it's just on point. Start to finish. And then when Starburns blows himself up in his meth lab that he started in the trunk of his car... Like, that's a great ending. Death of Starburns. That was that. that was oh, a shame. That's a well, shame. and that starts a whole bunch of a whole bunch of crap. So, and then number one, and there was no doubt about this: the paintball yeah. episode, Modern Warfare, absolutely perfect. Just, just this. It's just, it's just one of those you just knew, like immediately. That- like this is one of the greatest things ever. I was gonna say that is the episode. If everything in season one I was watching, I was like, man, yeah, da, da, da. 
that was the episode that was like, oh, heck yes, I'm watching the rest of this. Right. Right. It just, it, it, that was, that it was, was, I believe, the, the, the final episode of season one. Uh, I think so. I think so. Yeah. Uh, if it wasn't, there might have been one after it that nobody cares about, but it, that was, that was the culmination of everything that the community was building to and showed their, like, showed their hand at parody because they parodied everything in that. Like, all of the action movies got they, parodied in that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when when jeff is um when he wakes up in his um uh, when he wakes up from his car and he looks around i think that's exactly like what was that movie 28 days later i'm 28 guessing. days later yeah yeah and then and then leonard's about to shoot him and um abed comes just like what's the i think trinity the matrix and and and, and shoots him and then he says to troy i mean to uh jeff Come with me if you don't want any paint on your clothes. Just like, just like Arnold. Terminator. Just come with me if you don't, if you want to live. And Troy goes in and he's like, Jeff Winger, you son of a. I love and that he, like, so much. Him. I thought oh, you were yeah. God, man. Yeah. I thought you were dead. And then, oh, yeah. And I got total, like, uh, what is the movie? Uh, Mad Max vibes with the shoulder pads and. Like all of that, and then there's obvious diehard references. There's lots of diehard references. Um, when uh, when Jeff and Britta are making love, and she's about to shoot him, he takes the um, the clip. It just that was that was directly from uh, from a scene from uh, Die Hard. Um, when when Jeff comes at the end to the dean's office, that is exactly like. Um, oh, I did like the I did like the Jonathan Wu reference when Chang busts into the study room and he's like shooting the gun. Oh and my like god, the that was so for funny. no reason. That was so Chang was so good in that. Yeah, because he had that 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 crazy. Yeah, that he was totally that that Japanese gangster thing where he's yeah. just like <laughs> just, it's, and then and then at the end, um, he gets caught. And he, and he reveals his the bullets, jacket. The bullets hitting each other too was another was yes. another right uh, right. That's yeah, that's another, that's another reference. reference. Um, he reveals it and he's laughing because that was from uh, I think Total Recall. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he, maybe it's it's, yeah. it's 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 from something. It's from something. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the, 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 there's the best a, yeah, opening and he, him laughing about the bomb is is definitely some from something yeah, i just yeah. i i don't know um and then and then in addition to die hard at the end there's uh there's um rambo when he just obliterates the dean's office and- <laughs> <laughs> he just blasts like everything for nothing and like doesn't even hit the dean um when when uh shirley dies and she's just laying there and uh and uh britta comes over to uh to to see her and she says i'm going home britta and it's like, that's, it's, that's it's not okay. This one. It's okay. It's like, no, no, seriously, I'm going home. <laughs> that's not this one, though. Are you sure? I'm 99.9% sure. Was that that's from the, the, was that from I, the, I, uh, I, think, I think that's two. You think that's from the Star that's Wars the episode? One, I, I think that's, I think that's the second one. Okay. Either way, I, it's a great scene. I, I could be wrong. I, <laughs> Either way, I, it's, known, it's, I, I am known to be wrong. Either way, it's a great scene. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then at the end, it was like it was like down to um, Jeff and, and Britta, and, and, and yeah, Shirley's about to leave, and says, uh, "Shirley, I'm gonna I'm gonna win that, and I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna win it for you." And Jeff says, "That's nice. Yeah, that's nice." And then Jeff says, "I'm gonna win it, and I'm not gonna win it for you. That's not that's so less nice." nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that episode. Yeah, um, um, yeah. I, I, I also like when when they first tell Jeff. Um, you know what the what the prize is the, the oh, prize yeah. and he's like oh my god and then he goes to reach for Wait, the guns like you whoa, whoa. Me classes whoa and like everybody points their guns at each whoa. other and like wait a minute keep calm sugar bear or whatever it's whatever choice yeah. oh just just so good just so uh, good the, the, the entire show is amazing and the fact that it spawned so much of the other stuff that I love is like 
so much icing on top of the cake. Um, I love that the Russos went on to direct some of my favorite movies of all time. And I love that Dan Harmon is now in charge of Rick and Morty. And I love that show. Rick and Morty that is show amazing. Was, um, that show was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. They they basically, I mean, it's not much. It's it's not like community, but it's you could tell it's just Dan Harmon's a genius. That's basically it. Jan, there's Dan refer- Harmon- there, well, no, there's straight up references. Like I said before, um, the one episode in season six, the um lawnmower maintenance one is a reference to lawnmower man and that's the second episode that he directed for um for rick and morty is lawnmower dog so <laughs> okay like okay he, he, oh, he brings yeah. back his references yeah yeah um, and he, all, all the actors that were on community have voiced parts on nice on rick and morty i'll bet chevy chase hasn't been on there no <laughs> probably he, not it, Chevy, Chevy Chase had such a weird road in that show. Like that, that show could have like done so much for him, and he just yeah. But that's just that's 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 just him. <laughs> that's that's him. Uh, um, uh, supposedly, yeah. Yeah. Um, here's some that we we didn't mention. Um, the the claymation Abed's uncontrollable Christmas one. That was my second. If I didn't do the Glee episode, um, that, I love claymation. I was trying to not pick multiple episodes or <laughs> multiple holiday theme episodes. That one was very, very um, close to the top. Do you remember intermediate documentary filmmaking? That's the one where um, where Troy uh, meets LeVar Burton and just like <laughs> just doesn't say oh, anything. Oh, yeah, he that's the one where Pierce, to, Pierce pretends he's dying. I hate those episodes. Yeah. Honestly. Um, okay. Here's another one. That was amazing. It was called App Development and Condiments. Oh, meow meow beans. Um, was that the, was that the, what the app was called? Meow meow beans. So so that they had an app <laughs> that basically yeah. what divided people into groups or something like that, or you had to. I, yes. for, I forget. It, it was meow meow turned, beans. You could be rated one to five, and Shirley got like rated real high and like it, lorded it over everybody else. She began basically, Jeff, yeah. yeah, yeah. Jeff made it his mission to like get up to five. He does like a stand up routine in the middle of it, which is weird, but yeah. Um, yeah, my beans. I'm I'm such a fan of Joel McHale because I used to love that show, The Soup. He yeah. was he was so funny. Oh, yeah. In that. That, that show was solid. Uh, I, yeah, I, 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 I just I love I love Joel McHale. And, and it always it always makes me wonder like what his career was gonna be like because he spent several years just making fun of Hollywood and making fun of celebrities, and it's kind of hard to, to you know <laughs> making fun there's of people a, then there's a half decent movie. Um I forget where. Um that's him and whoever they paired with his as his significant other, they're like trapped in a house with a bunch of friends, like on a getaway weekend, and they get trapped. And it, it's a good, it's actually pretty solid, like study on like human behavior. Oh yeah, but um, yeah. also um, critical film studies from season two. It looked like I mean, it, it was it was basically a, a Pulp Fiction spoof. Oh yeah, no, that's the dinner with Andre one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's the dinner with Andre one. Yeah, uh, Abed tries to have dinner with Andre, and they're all waiting and like trying to figure out how do they do the Pulp Fiction thing. <laughs> um, another another one from season two, mixology certification. That's where uh, uh, Troy's twenty first birthday. Oh, that's uh, yeah, that one where they argue over the different bars, and they end up being the same bar. <laughs> <laughs> um, Emotional consequences of broadcast television, season six, episode thirteen. So this is the, the final episode, right? I believe. I I mean I don't know only thirteen I don't know. episodes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, re- okay. I, I remember the the only one I remember from season six is. Um, Did they do the another one? paintball episode? No, I don't. I don't they remember. Didn't. I remember there was a third paintball. There was a there was like paintball three, and it was so they all right. So they do a third paintball episode, and then they do one where uh, the darkest timeline comes through, okay. and oh, then yeah. they they make that kind of a paintball episode. No, okay. the one I was thinking of is the one where Chang gets famous for saying, "Girl, 
he was he was going to be the color blue in the Crayola movie. I love yes. that. <laughs> yes. And you think, wow, what a stupid premise. Like, I could totally see there being a crayon movie. Exactly. I could totally see that. Um, uh, This one was really good. Pillows and Blankets from season three. Oh, my the, God. The basically that the, was the, this the, close. The, that the was Ken this Burns close to making my list. Civil War spoof was so I know. funny. <laughs> The, and with just, the voiceover and everything, like, it was just uh, sad because it was like uh, you don't want, want to see Troy, Troy and Aubin fighting. Um, I like them fighting though at the end, especially because they're just like hitting each other. They're just like, yeah, no. If we if, if we don't get back to if we don't make up our friendship, our friendship is over. And they're just like hitting each other like randomly with pillows. <laughs> that was that that was the most Troy and Aubin thing ever. Um, oh, paradigms of human memory. From season two, um, you're gonna have to read the description. Um, ugh, I don't know, but it's I gotta find out what's going on with it. But uh, but, um, yeah, it just, it's it's on Hulu. Watch watch Community. It, it's it's yeah. it, it holds up. It I holds was gonna up. say it's, everybody watch Community because it does hold up minus the cell phones. Oh, really? The cell phones are out of date. Yeah. The cell phones are so out of date. So this is like basically it was made from like 2009 to 2015. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, basically. And we're getting yeah. a movie. I, I, what do you what do you think the movie's going to be like? That's... I just pray to God they get um, Donald Glover back. Yeah. Oh, they have everybody to. else you that I care to. about. Everybody else that I care about has no. already signed on. Okay. If you get Donald Glover. You got to get, you got to get Troy. Whatever, who, the actress that played Shirley, no offense to that character or that actress. I don't care about her. Yeah. She, yeah. She can, she can, Shirley out. was, yeah. She, she can like be running her sandwich shop or be with her family or whatever. Yeah. Whatever. I don't, I, I don't care about her. But um, you get Donald Glover back and have Abed, to. Have to, I have to. I mean, basically, you know, when when you rate like the most, like the most important characters on the show, it was basically Troy Abed and Jeff were like, like all one A, one B, one One, two, three. Yeah, and then you know, Annie was nice, Britta was nice, uh, Shirley was nice, but but really, it was it was Troy Abed and Jeff. I don't think you could do it without Annie. Britta was pretty important. Like, I I don't think you necessarily do a faithful reboot or faithful movie without she Greta. was a big part of the show she was a big but part of the show annie was a big part sure surely honestly like eh. she was just there she was just yeah i don't know she was like i did like i i will i will say i did like her line in whatever season it was where they did the halloween episode with like the clips and stuff where they all made up their own episodes and then she was like and then she chainsawed him then chainsawed him again <laughs> There were times when she decided to be a badass. That, that was that was yeah. That was there cool. there were there were a couple of there were a couple of scenes that I really liked her, but eh. Yeah. She overall she would I I could take her or leave her. To be honest. I am so excited. I don't know when this movie's coming out. Probably like in a year or two at least. Uh it's slated for twenty four, I think. Yeah. But. Yeah, it's I'd gonna to, be good. I'd have to actually look it's, at that. It's, yeah. I, I'm sure it's gonna be good, but you're right. They need Donald Glover. They, they, they Donald Glover. Needs don't even bother TV. doing it without Troy. You got, yeah. you gotta have Troy. Troy and Abed in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Do we want to try it one more time? All right. Doing it. Okay. Troy and Abed in the morning. Ah, yeah. Never mind. We yeah, <laughs> not, it's not gonna happen in Royal Wi-Fi. <laughs> Just right. remember, Joe and Andrew in the morning. morning. Oh, okay, we almost got that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'll All see right. you.